Lexus kicked off its high-performance F brand over a decade ago, with a V8-powered sedan called the AZF. This model bowed out after the 2014 model year and was followed by the two-door RCF coupe and larger GSF sedan. Lexus hasn't offered a V8-powered as since. Until now, that is. The 2022 Lexus as 500F Sport Performance arrives sporting a familiar engine, but an all-new message. Whereas the old as F was directly targeted at the BMW M3 and Mercedes C63, this is 500 is pitted against mid-level performance sedans like the Acura TLX Type S, Audi S4, BMW M340i, and Mercedes AMG C43. Lexus says the new F Sport Performance sub-brand will slot above the standard F Sport models, but below the more hardcore F vehicles coming in the future. Lexus recently refreshed the third generation as with updated styling and new cabin technology, but it is still one of the more dated options in the segment. The Lexus as 500 F Sport enters the segment with the only naturally aspirated V8, a 5.0-liter unit producing 472 horsepower and 395 pound-feet of torque. Though the performance may not match some of its turbocharged six-cylinder rivals, the appeal of a howling V8 might win over old-school shoppers. Lexus is targeting a niche market with the AS 500F Sport, perfectly aimed at brand loyalists and enthusiasts. The AS 500F Sport performance is all new, and the pinnacle of the current is range, for now. While it's not as hardcore as the previous generation as F, a criminally underrated car, it does come with a sublime 5.0-liter naturally aspirated V8 producing 472 horsepower and 395 pound-feet of torque. This is the first model in the new Lexus F Sport performance line, which will inevitably lead to an entire lineup of go-faster products carrying the same nomenclature. We doubt the 5.0-liter V8 will be around for that, which means the AS 500 F Sport might be a swansong model. It is available in three trims, base, premium, and launch edition. This four-door sport sedan oozes muscle, and it's quite a different beast from the standard is. The hood, for example, has been raised by almost 2 inches, and it has aggressive power bulges to accommodate the larger engine. The front bumper and fenders also had to be lengthened for the same reason. At the rear, Lexus included the most noticeable homage to the now-defunct hardcore F models, the stacked quad exhaust tips. A revised lower rear diffuser and dark chrome window trim set the AS F Sport apart, and a rear lip spoiler ties it all together. The new is 500 F Sport gets 19-inch model-specific alloy wheels, which are lighter than the standard as wheel by up to 2 pounds per wheel. This is even lighter on launch edition models that boast 19-inch 7-spoke forged BBS matte black alloy wheels, which are lighter by up to 4 pounds each. Only 500 serialized launch edition models will be produced, exclusive to the US market, and available only in one exterior hue, incognito, a new addition to the Lexus range. The Lexus as 500 sedan has an overall length of 187.3 inches, riding on a 110.2-inch wheelbase. It's 72.4 inches wide with the mirrors folded in and stands 56.5 inches tall. With its elongated body, it stretches nearly 2 inches longer than the standard is. Before the AS 500 rolled along, the heaviest AS was the 350F Sport AWD at 3,880 pounds. Even with that big 5.0-liter lump under the hood, the AS500 weighs 3,891 pounds, which is just 143 pounds more than the 350F Sport RWD. You can choose from eight colors when configuring your AS500, including Ultra White, Caviar, Iridium, Infrared, Atomic Silver, Grecian Water, Cloudburst Gray, and Ultrasonic Blue Mica 2.0. Certain premium colors have a $500 surcharge. Launch editions come exclusively bedecked in incognito dark gray. The Lexus looks spectacular in all these colors, especially in infrared. We do wish there were more flamboyant colors available, considering the competition this car faces. Green seems to be a favorite at the moment, and we would have loved to see Japan's take on this color. The AS500 uses the famous naturally aspirated 5.0-liter V8 as found in the RCF and the LC. It's a peaky powertrain, delivering 472 horsepower at sky-high 7,100 revolutions per minute and 395 pound-feet at 4,800 revolutions per minute. 
In the real world, this means it takes some proper planning to tap into the V8's of potential. Unlike a turbocharged engine, the V8 feels sleepy when you first hit the throttle, only erupting into a melodic roar at higher revs. Some delay is related to the lack of turbochargers, but the transmission tuning is also at fault. All of the AS 500's power is sent to the rear wheels via an 8-speed torque converter automatic transmission. This is the same transmission found in lesser models like the AS 350, and this quickly becomes apparent. In automatic mode, the transmission loves to seek high gears for maximum fuel economy, meaning it often takes several seconds to initiate downshifts. By the time the transmission gives you the correct gear, the gap may be gone or the light may go from yellow to red. Placing the car into Sport S Plus mode can mitigate some of this effect, but we suggest using the paddle shifters to keep the engine in its sweet spot.